Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, today, inshallah, we are going to complete our talk about the efficiency and uh, equity. Uh, in the last class, uh, we discussed the Pareto efficiency, if you remember. Uh, the Pareto efficiency uh, theory <coughs> explains or shows how can the community increases or make someone of the community better off without making someone else worse off. And we assume that we have uh, two persons in the community and th these, uh, those, two con uh, those two, per two persons consume two goods. So we have two goods, two products only in the, in the country, Adam and Eva. They are the population here. Uh, they consume figs and apple. Adam try or tries to maximize his benefits from consuming when he consumes these two uh, goods. This, this is the indifference curve for Adam. As, he, uh, as the indifference curve for Adam shifts right, this means that his total utility or his benefit from consuming the different bundles of goods will be improved. For Eva, in the second side or the opposite side, will it try to maximize her benefits from consuming the, the same products or the same goods as she, or the, and the first curve for Eva, shifts left. This means that there is an improvement for the total utility obtained for her. Okay? Now, let us assume that we work under this point, point G. Point G gives Adam, let us assume that the total utility obtained for Adam equals 50 units. And along this curve, and the first curve for Eva, let us assume that this curve, at this curve, at point G, which represents or located along or lies along the indifference curve, uh, uh, gives her 70 units. A movement from indifference curve 1 to indifference curve 2 for Adam here means that Adam will get more total utility. Let us assume it was or uh, equals 80. For Eva, a movement from this line in the first curve to the second here, let us assume it gives her uh, 100 units. So, a movement for Adam from in the first curve 1 to in the first curve 2 here, the total utility obtained will be improved for Adam and worse off for Eva. Now, how can we, how can we at, at this point here at G, how can we improve the Adam's situation, this, the Adam's satisfaction, without making Eva worse off? How can we make Adam better off without making Eva worse off? We have to move or to shift the indifference curve here to right. And we have a new equal. And Eva, how can we make Eva as well? Improvement, improvement, the, satisfa the satisfaction of Eva as well. Here we can move the indifference curve for Adam and move the indifference curve for Eva. Here we have both improvement for, or improvement for both, for Adam and Eva. Because Adam went to a better indifference curve, and Eva went for better M indifference curve, and this is the most efficient point. This call is Pareto improvement. Okay? The Pareto improvement occurs when the marginal rate of substitution for Eva, the slope of indifference curve, tangent or the marginal rate of substitution for Eva equals the marginal rate of substitution for Adam. Or the slope of indifference curve here for 
Adam equals the, the, the slope of the, the first curve for Eva. Okay? Here we have an improvement. Okay? Now, in the community, we will try to make both As you see here in this graph, point P2 represents Pareto efficiency, P3 Pareto efficiency, P4 Pareto efficiency. When there is a tangency between a difference curve for Eva and Adam, we have a Pareto efficiency. Okay, let's connect the points here. All these points represent Pareto efficiency. Here we have there, there is a tangency between in difference curve one and and four, two and three. As you see here, all these points represent the uh, Pareto efficiency. This curve is called the contract curve. No locus of all Pareto efficient points. Uh, so as you see in this graph, each point lies along the contract curve represents Pareto efficient allocation. Okay? Let's go. Or at this curve, each point here represents a tangency between the difference curve for Adam and Eva or the modular rate substitution for Adam for uh, Apple and Figs uh, equals the modular rate substitution for uh, uh, Figs and Apple for, uh, for Adam and Eva. The modular rate of, sub of substitution for both are equal. Okay? Utility <coughs> possibilities curve. The maximum amount of one person's utility given each level of another person's utility. Each point here along the utility possibilities curve represents Pareto efficiency. Okay? P3, P5, point Q is inefficient. We will check it now. And you see here, the utility obtains for Eva, and this is the utility on the vertical axis, the utility obtains for Adam. As the utility of Eva increases, the utility for Adam goes down. Okay, here. As we want to increase the utility for Eva, we, the utility for the total utility for Adam goes uh, down. Let's go to social and difference curves. The social or the community and difference curves. Here, as you see, the total and difference curves. <coughs> as you see, the social difference curve is the society is willing this to trade off one person's utility for another. A movement, rightward movement or shifting of a different social and difference curve means there, there is an improvement in the social welfare. Okay? Let's go to this graph. As you see here, both B and A are on the utility possibility frontier 
are Pareto efficient. Or point B and A, uh, C and M are Pareto efficient. How does the society uh, choose between these Pareto efficiency or efficiency points? How can we decide or determine the optimum point for the community? This is the, uh, the major question here. As you see here, point A is the socially efficient because it is on the utility possibility frontier and it is preferred to B because at B the social indifference curve here let us assume that the social difference curve 1 gives total utility of 100. This is the difference curve 1, IC1, gives the total utility of 100. And difference curve, social difference curve 2 equals uh, 120. And the social difference curve 3 gives 150. Which is better for the community? A. One, two, or three? Three is the best. Three is the best. But it's unattainable. The community can allocate or can consume along either on the indifference scale one or two. So which is better for the community? Two or one? Two is better. Because it's, it, it gives more satisfaction, more utility than one. So, at point A here, A is or achieves Pareto efficient, Pareto efficiency. B achieves Pareto efficiency as well. But which is better, A or B? A is better than B because it gives larger social or oh, total utility for the community. Okay? What about C? The same as B. The same as B, yes, because it gives smaller total utility for the community. Okay? Point A here. At this point here, the utility obtained for Adam is greater than the utility obtained for Eva, as you see. So there is no equity in distribution. Right? There's no equity. Although we have an efficiency, but there is no equity because the utility obtained here for Adam is greater than the utility obtained for Eva. How can we achieve the equity and efficiency? We will try to draw another indifference curve. How? Maybe here's good. Because this point is or achieves Pareto efficiency, Pareto efficient allocation, and gives fair or equity in distribution of utility among the population here between Adam and Eva. Is what? Hey. Let us assume that here the total utility obtained along this point for Eva, the uh, 50, and here's 50. Here we have an equity in distribution. If the difference curve was here, is it fair? 
It's good for Eva. But bad for Adam. As you see. So we will try to keep the point or to work under the point where or achieves efficiency and equity in distribution. Efficiency and equity. As you see in this graph, each point lies on the uh, utility possibility frontiers, achieves or, yes, or performs the palette to efficiency. And this point here achieves efficiency and equity because here we have pissed allocation of resources as well. And in efficiency and equity. That's it. Here, if it was here, it's biased to Adam. If it was here, it's biased to Eve. Zbut? Tamam. That's it. Let's go to something else. Shuf. Let's go to the social surplus. Consumer surplus and producer surplus and social surplus. Consumer. Uh, let's go to <coughs> the equilibrium and social welfare. To, the, to, uh, to, the, to, to talk about the social welfare, we have to talk about both sides in the community, consumers and the producers. Okay? Out of this point, we will study first the consumer surplus. What is the consumer surplus? Let us to understand the idea for the consumer surplus. Let us assume that a consumer, Ahmed, is willing to buy or desires to buy a motorcycle and he went to the market he has a willingness and ability to pay one thousand five hundred dollars to buy the motorcycle according to our assumption that the consumer Ahmed this is to pay and he has the, the ability to pay $1,500 to buy a motorcycle. He went to the market and actually, or suddenly he find that the price, the actual price, the actual market price for the motorcycle equals the market price. Equals $1,200. This is the real price in the market. How much <coughs> is the welfare here for him? Get this rough for a hal. Tarawan basat hik. Masbut? The welfare for the consumer here equals $300. So the surplus here. The, surplus, the consumer surplus equals 1,500 minus 1,200 equals 300. I had the times the number of purchased units. If he tends to buy two motorcycles, how many is how much is the so this the consumer surplus 200 300 times two motorcycles equals 600 if he decided to buy three units 900 this is the social or the consumer surplus the difference between 
the actual price or the market price and the what he is willing he he desires to pay okay another thing which is the producer surplus let us assume that a producer has a desire or desires to sell his product by $100. He desires to sell the product by $100. Actually, he went to the market and find that the actual price equals real market price This is the price that the, that the producer desires to pay, uh, to, to sell. He desires to sell the, price, the, the product by $100 and he went to the market and find, find, he found that the, the market price, the actual market price is $140. There's a gain here. There's a surplus. This surplus is called the producer surplus. The producer surplus. Producer surplus here equals 140 minus 100 equals 40 when he sells one unit. I'm about selling two units, four units, the producer surplus will increase. And this can be calculated for the community as a whole. Okay? So, the social surplus is... The consumer surplus... Plus the producer surplus. Let's come back to the consumer surplus using a graph. Price and the quantity. This is the demand curve and this is supply curve here what is the equilibrium point how can we determine the market price the market price is determined when demand intersects or equals supply e and this is the price This is the market price. Equilibrium price. For the motorcycles, let us assume, let's come back to the motorcycles here. And let us assume that the consumer has a willingness pay, to uh, pay $1,500 uh, and the actual price, the market price, equals $1,000 here. How much is the consumer surplus? Yes, here. The difference between the market price and the, the, willing, the, the price that the consumer is willing to, uh, uh, is well to pay, okay, or desires to pay, times the quantity here. This is the consumer surplus here. At quantity one here, These areas here
represents the consumer surplus. If he, let us assume that the consumer uh, wants to buy one motorcycle. At this point, he desires to pay 140, uh, uh, 140, uh, 1490. At this point here, he has a willingness to pay to buy uh, two. This is, or here, he can say this is the uh, consumer surplus when he buys uh, one unit, two units, three units, four units. The consumer surplus is the area below demand curve and above the equilibrium price. طبعا مخصومات هاي المناطق شايفين المناطق هذا هدول هدول هيك minus these triangles ان هو فعليا actually قديش دفع لو بدي اشتر واحد هيك دفع هالقد عنده استعداد يدفع قديش عنده استعداد يدفع هذا السعر قديش وفر؟ لكوانتيتي عند السيربلس، لكوانتيتي في البرايس اللي وفره. لو بدي اشتري اثنين موفر هذا هيك ثلاثة. So in general the consumer surplus represents or can be <coughs> determined as the area below demand curve above the market equilibrium price. هذا هيك اسمه consumer surplus What about the producer here? The producer Let us assume that the producers uh, desire to sell the product by uh, 700 المسافات okay 500 400, 400, okay. And the actual market price was 1,000. Actually, actually, there is a surplus. When he sells one unit, he can gain this area, this area for two, this area for three. This area here represents the producer surplus. Headache. Produce a surplus. It's the difference between the price that the, the, the producer tends to sell, which is 400, and the actual market price can be represented by this triangle. How can we Calculate the consumer surplus here. Let us assume that the quantity here equals 7. Let's calculate the consumer surplus. The consumer surplus equals the area A, M, N. E, the consumer surplus is represented by the area A, the triangle A, M, E. How can we calculate the triangle here? The area of this triangle, pace, half, equals half, times pace, times height. Equals. Half times the pace here. How much is the pace? Seven. 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 Times height. The difference between 1,500 1, minus 1,000. 500. 500. So, 
250 equals 7 times 250. How much is it? You can calculate this. This is the consumer surplus. If the consumers or the consumer desires to pay $1,000, how much is the consumer surplus? Let us assume that the consumer desires to pay $1,000. The consumer surplus in this case equals zero. As the price increases, what will happen to the consumer surplus? Let us assume here. This is okay. Let me graph this. Here is the original equilibrium. E1, P1, Q1, M. What is the consumer surplus here? M, P1, E1. This is the consumer surplus. Okay? If the prices go up or went up, the consumer must pay more. So, let us assume that the price increases. What has happened to the consumer surplus? KT. How much is the old consumer surplus? Old consumer surplus. The old or the, the initial consumer surplus, how much was it? M, MP1, E1. Represented by this area, as you see. As the price goes up, the consumer surplus declines. Definitely, as the, the prices goes up, as the prices go up, the consumer, the, the consumer surplus goes down. As well, and the welfare of the consumer begins it. As the price goes up, the welfare declines. So, I get this and the new consumer surplus. Shusa MKT. The declining in the consumer welfare equals how much? Hey, this is the decreasing in the consumer surplus or the consumer welfare. وكأنه بقول له هو كان موفر هذا هيك. The prices go up or went up. So end of end the loss. We have a loss in the consumer surplus by represented by this area. خلينا نقول هذا اللي هو the loss, the consumer loss, the consumer consumer's loss equals K T E one P one. So in general. As the price goes up, the consumer welfare goes down. The consumer welfare, consumer's welfare, is the consumer surplus. As the price goes down, the consumer surplus goes up. So there is a negative relationship between the prices and the consumer surplus. What about the producer surplus? And the, uh, as the price goes up, the profits, the profits goes up as well. So the 
producers will gain more benefits or more profits. So their surplus will increase. As for the producer surplus, as the price goes up, what will happen? Their profits goes up. So their welfare goes up. Increasing their welfare. And and another uh, we can say that the with the the producer surplus goes up. Let's check it on the graph. Producer surplus as P one Q one. Uh, let us, uh, this is E1, R. What is the producer surplus here? The triangle P1, E1, and R. This is the producer surplus. Is what? How much is, uh, or let us assume that the price is, okay, producer surplus. This is the initial producer surplus equals P1, E1, R. As the price goes up, M and O or T. Where is the new Consume a producer surplus. Yes. MTR, yes, because here let us assume that the demand, demand to D, from, uh, shifts from D1 to D2. We have a new equilibrium point here. Whereas the new uh, producer surplus, the new the producer surplus is represented by the area above or below below the market price above the, the, the supply curve. How you hate? The producer surplus can be represented by the area above supply curve below the market price. What's the new market price? Hey. Um, above the supply curve so the new producer surplus would be represented by this triangle Lua. MR new producer surplus equals M T R we have gains here we have Additional welfare for the producer, hey, huh? represented by this area. The producer gains, the producer's gain, or additional welfare, or additional surplus for the consumer, the producer, equals the area MT. P1, E1. Which means the new, the total new surplus minus the old surplus, this is the new consumer producer surplus. 
اوكي يعطيكم العافيه